ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي الله اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته brothers and sisters alhamdulillah today is our 10th uh, episode uh, in our uh, 30 day series of short talks for the month of ramadan alhamdulillah uh, today inshallah we're going to talk about the fa- last time we talked about the fasting of the tongue today we're going to talk a little bit about the fasting of the eye and the ears you know see uh, these bodily parts uh, are, again they're responsible with what they look at and responsible what they see like Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala says on the day of judgment you know Allah will 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 uh, uh show, you know uh make you aware of what you listened to and what you looked at okay he'll hold you accountable for what you see okay and what you heard okay and uh, what you listened to um uh, as well as the tongue of course and so again fasting of the eyes okay is really the lowering of the gaze you know very basic and very fundamental we all know that okay and uh looking at things uh or looking at thing uh or not looking at things that are forbidden that's what fasting of the eyes mean lowering your gaze and not looking at things you know that Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited Allah, as Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran you know and asks the believing men to lower their gaze all right and uh and asks the believing women also to lower their gaze you see so Allah is talking to both of us and the men to lower their gaze and the women to lower their gaze all right and then of course you know Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is, is talking directly uh 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 to us you know, the men looking at women and women looking at men you know gazing upon each other that's why in Islam we had the whole the whole concept of hijab and and the separation you know of the uh uh of the of the of the genders and the sexes you know the the, the men are in in one area and the women in another or even when we come to the masjid and pray the men are up front and the, and the women are in the back you know because of this legislation of Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala so that we don't be looking at each other okay and so again um uh lowering the gaze is a tremendous challenge uh, for uh, for for all of us and it's, you know especially the, 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 and you know uh, uh uh the men you know looking at the opposite sex we live in a society where the women is all over the place you know are not covered properly not covered you know and we live in the west we don't live in an islamic uh, you know environment if you will you see so people you know have the tendency to you know to 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 to, to to undress you know they walk the streets you know uh, half naked you know, it's the reality you know so so that becomes a big challenge you know in terms of lowering the gaze you know, all right and so again but you know be as it may we you know we we you know we 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 have to we have to low our gaze you know at all time whether it's dealing with in you know with non-muslim or whether it deals with these muslim sisters alhamdulillah so the eyes uh, lowering the gaze again is a challenge uh, uh, and uh, particularly uh, for the men uh, the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he told ali you know you know this idea of looking at women you know is dangerous brothers you know? so, so we have to you know you know we have to be mindful of that okay and and we are always tested with this you know with the gaze all right and the prophet sallam told ali ibn abi talib that if he inadvertently or if he unintentionally look you know uh had look a glance at a woman you just you just out of, you know a natural response seeing a beautiful woman huh cuz you know the prophet is teaching that's natural you you know uh if that happens you know allah forgives you Allah forgives you. Huh? But if you look again, then you have sinned. You see? So Allah forgive you the first look, the first natural look. Huh? Huh? But you but the second look, you know, you 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 you, you have committed a sin. Huh? So it's a warning to us and it's what he told Ali Ibn Abi Talib. Huh? And uh, and so no so it's just natural, you know, that you know you your your look may fall upon someone, you know, not intentionally, you know, they're right in front of you, you know, you look, okay? And but you know When, when you recollect that you're gazing then you should lower the gaze that's when you should become conscious and, and consciously make the decision to look away or turn away you know from the look you know, the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that when women come out you know you know they you know uh uh the the, the shaitan you know uses them like an arrow you know shooting of an arrow you know you, you know you know shooting at you like an arrow 
You know what I'm saying? Okay, and so that's that's what he, you know, that's the, the metaphor that he used. You know, that when when they move move forward and, and you gaze upon, that's one of the the arrows. Of, you know, your gaze is one of the arrows of Shaitan. See, he, he shoot an arrow at you, and you get caught. You get, you know, subhanallah. So we have to be mindful of that Shaitan. You know, he uh, works on us to, to keep us from lowering the gaze. All right, so it's a test. All right, and so Ramadan gives us an opportunity again to fast. You know, with the eyes, okay. Uh, even, even to the point of, uh, you know, you know, uh, you know, the Prophet Sallam speaks about women beauty. Uh, uh, as, as we mentioned, one of the arrows, women's beauty, one of the arrows of Shaitan, okay, uh, that he casts at you. So again, be mindful. That's the Hadith. Alhamdulillah. We must keep. Our, our ourselves out of harm's way of this sin. All right? uh, so we have to try to avoid those areas where women are, where you would be challenged to look. Uh, there's a story of uh, from Imam Shafi, one of our great imams. You know, he was in the marketplace. That's one of the places we have to be very, very careful with the gaze. All right, in the marketplace because women are always there shopping. All right, uh, and so Imam Shafi was in the marketplace. And uh, uh, he saw a woman's, a woman's lower part of her calf or her leg. You know, the wind, the wind blew, blew her, her dress up and he happened to gaze upon it. You know, unmistakably, but at, at the time that happened, he didn't pay it no mind. And then he began to complain to his teacher, his, his, his teacher, that he, he couldn't memorize. He was losing his memory. In the, in the Quran, Allah, he, wasn't, he, he was having a problem memorizing the ayahs from the book of Allah. Allah. He's a great scholar. Everybody knew that Imam Shafi had a, a, a photographic memory. You know? you know, so he's having problems with his memory. So he goes to the sheikh, you know, and he sheikh, hey, knowledge is in the heart, man. So, so you, he said, repent to Allah for, for, you know, for, for your sin, man, for your sin. You know, darkness has entered your heart. And then he started thinking, well, what did I do? And then he remembered he saw the lady's lower part of her leg. You know, just the lower part of the leg. You know, when the, the wind blew the dress. Blew the dress, And he happened to glance upon it. Not meaning. And then he made tawba to Allah for that, you see. So that was kind of like a like an eye-opener, you know, for him and others. You know, when you, when, you know, the, the, the sin of, 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 of gazing, you know, uh, at the opposite sex, you know, uh, uh, what kind of a trial, you know, it can, it can cause you, you know, lots of things can happen, okay? So we need to be mindful uh, of uh, what we look at, okay? And uh, um, we also, one of the things that we are challenged by today, you know, uh, is the, uh, the TV and the social media, you know, the movies, you know what I'm saying? This is what's out there. The pornography, all of these things, you know, and I, I understand, you know, Muslims are caught up in a lot of these things, you know, you know, looking at, you know, let alone looking at, you know, get, you know, lower, you know, not gazing upon women, but, you know, uh, uh, pornography, you know, graphic scenes, people watching that stuff, looking at that, you see. And that, you know, so this stuff is, is, is clearly haram. And definitely if, if a person had those habits of looking, gazing upon pornography or even soft porn, what they call what they call soft porn is the advertisement that you'll see on TV, right? Where women are advertising certain clothes, certain see-through see, see garments, you know, Victoria's Secret, right? Or they're advertising bras, you know what I'm saying? And, and underwear, you know, and they're literally naked, yeah. And so they come in between, you know, the news that you may be watching. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. I like watching the news too. You see, or some educational program. In between all that, they throw all of this stuff at you. That's soft porn. The magazines that you read, you know, that you open up that's on the newsstand, you know, always everything is connected with women and, and, and them displaying themselves and you looking at it or drawn to it. These are the challenges, huh? challenges that we're faced with. So we have to lower our, our gaze and lower our glances, all right? And so I can go on and on and on, but we know what we have to do, all right? And the same thing goes for sisters watching, you know, men fashion themselves and showing themselves and displaying I mean, themselves in their underwear, you know, half naked, so forth and so on. You know, we have to be mindful of, of that too, inshallah. Lowering the gaze. I ask the believing women you know, to lower their gaze and guard their modesty. And ask the believing men to lower their gaze and guard their modesty. So if we have any bad habits of doing that, we should kick those habits 
habits in the month of Ramadan and practice that level of restraint of our eyes, you know, in the month of Ramadan. And finally, as far as the ears are concerned, you know, briefly, again, fasting of the ears, you know, again, not listening to things, you know, that will harm your faith, not listening to things that will, that, that will blacken your heart, you know, like the, like the music and the poetry, you know, and the negative uh, uh, songs and things, you know, that people are into and whatnot, you know, uh, you know, not listening, you know, to, to foul speech and, and not listening, but, 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 but listening to Quran, you know, listen to Quran, listen to good lectures and good talks, you know, that will purify the heart and bring you close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So guard your ears and what you listen to, not listening to gossip on the phone and, you know, talking or even now that the new way of listening is, you know, the, the social media with the texting and all of that and you texting and all of that is part, is, is, part, is, 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 a, is an outgrowth of the same thing, right? The, the, uh, the eyes and the ears involved in sin. So protect yourselves from these evils and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all. So uh, uh, tune in for our next uh, uh, episode and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you the best in the month of Ramadan. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salamun alil mursaleen. Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen.